those of y'all who are car people, right there is the uh, Corvette Museum. We're in uh, Bowling Green, Kentucky, passing through. I didn't get the camera up quick enough a while ago, but we went right behind, before you get to that museum right there, which is north of the museum, we're heading south right now, is the factory where they build them at, uh, here in Bowling Green. Uh, we still are 329 miles to the house, so our next big town that we'll be going through will be Nashville. I'll get the camera back to them then. You making it? I'm making it. You think so? I'm, I'm entertaining you with my talk, she's right? Getting, she's getting happier. The closer we're getting home, the happier right. she's getting. She's perking up or whatever. I gotta see my babies. <laughs> All right. The march to see our babies carries on. <laughs> so we're coming into Nashville now. Let's see it up there, all the big buildings. We'll be going right by the Titan Stadium up here in just a second. I'll show it to y'all. This is the worst part right here. If we can make it through here and get just south of Nashville, oh, we'll be doing good. Man, it just, it bottles, it bottlenecks up so bad right through here on 65 heading south and, of course, north too. We're just going to kind of ease right down through here. Hopefully it'll keep moving at least like it is. We're doing almost 60, so that'll be good. So right over there is Titan Stadium. Y'all can see it. I'm trying to drive. <laughs> and Which film is it real to, smart. And film at the same time. <laughs> I don't think Joe... There it is right there. Nissan Stadium. I don't think Joe cares. Just as long as we get home. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Safely. It's kind of like uh, texting and driving. Uh, we're fixing that to exit to the right in a mile. And I'm all the way over in the left end lane. I got to get all the way over here. Alright, I'll be back. Survived that exit and made the next exit, and we got one more to make right here, man. We make this next one back on 65, heading south on out of Nashville. We'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> we're easing around. We're scaring we're, Mrs. Cotton Top. Okay. <laughs> People ask you if you were Miss Cottontop. That was funny. Say, I heard that. I'm gonna say several dozen. Yeah, several dozen. So we just made our split right here. We good to go now, boys and girls. Yes, 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 yes. I missed it. But we back in Alabama now, man. <laughs> We're getting closer. We're getting closer. We're uh, we're still on I-65. What we're gonna do is we're gonna peel off up here in just a little bit and head toward Decatur, Decatur, and then Bolton, and then we're gonna go through the National Forest and uh, to Double Springs, and then on toward Fayette. And that's our route that we're that we're taking. So we don't have a whole lot more here to go. And we'll be toward the high. There. So, of course, Huntsville is home of the Space and Rocket Center here. And that's a rest area right there. But you can, uh, they have a Space and Rocket Museum right there in Huntsville. It's a pretty cool place to visit. They got a lot of stuff on display. It goes way back in the space program. So, this, we're coming into Decatur, Alabama now. Officially off the interstate for the rest of the journey. This bridge way up here, that's going over to Tennessee River up there. I, Decatur's a really cool town. It's a river town right here. And it's a uh, it's a nice place. Uh, and one of the one of the nicer towns in Alabama, in my opinion. So here's the bridge. There's the river. As soon as we cross this bridge right here, we'll dump us right into the cater. And then we'll be heading toward uh, Moulton. Why are you yawning for? Because I'm tired. What? I'm tired. You snored worse than Paul Bunyan last night. You're not supposed to tell that. <laughs> The 
mandatory gas stop. We are about 120 miles from the house right here. We're uh, between Decatur and Moulton is where we're at right now. So we're gonna be home. We're gonna be home around three, just before three today. So that'll be good. Temperature's freaking almost 90 degrees here too. So we're gonna, I'm gonna squirt the dirt. Jill's in there squirting the dirt. And then we're gonna get on the road, man. I'll be back. We made it home, people. Daddy! <laughs> what you doing, bud? Nothing. Did you miss me at all? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Oh, good. Good. My sweet baby. There's another the cake. Happened. I see it. So how much stuff did you make Hunter have to do while we were gone? Nothing. He Liar. Took the, I was he for took the, the same. trash <laughs> to the road. Uh-huh. Oh, good. Mm. So you glad to see us? You got to... Yeah. You tired of fending for yourself? Yes. In the cage? I'm tired of laundry. Tired of laundry? Yeah. Well, just think about your mom. How I much that she does. It's crazy, <laughs> right? I couldn't. I couldn't. <laughs> oh, well, let's unload this van. Fun. God, look at all this. Yeah, yeah, well, we had something. Huh? <laughs> it was all fun. So you saw he made it back home from the uh, Paul Bunyan show. And I tell you, this that's the longest time that Jill and I have been gone. I guess probably since our honeymoon, which was back in '94 from away from the house like that and uh i'm gonna tell you man the, the week leading up to the paul bunyan show i just i wasn't sure what to expect man we tried to cover all everything that we tried to you know make sure we had everything done right and or was ready for it which i mean we was but uh, as we were leaving out wade texts me and he says hey man bring some props with you you know different odd and end stuff you know and we we're already on the road i hadn't even thought about bringing none of that you know nothing like that or anything but uh i told jill i said if we can just get through this weekend i said i'll just i'll feel a lot better about things well we got up there and we got there before Wade did, and Wade and I, a lot of people, a lot of y'all have asked, had Wade and I met? No, we had not met before the show, ever. We've been on the phone enormous amounts of time, and you're going to see that in another video uh, coming up, uh, talking and, and carrying on and stuff like that. But as far as like meeting face-to-face, -face, you know, we hadn't, because, I mean, it's 500 miles between Wade and I, and we both live very busy lives but anyhow i got there and I, I called wade and i said man where you at and and uh they weren't too far from getting there and 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 he showed up and we got everything set up and uh just i was not prepared for what was fixing to happen uh, we, wade and i had talked about how big it was probably going to be and uh we were very I underestimated how big it was going to be. Just, I don't know that Insane describes what the show was like. It was perfect weather. You know, I don't know if that had something to do with it or not. I know they set records uh, Friday and Saturday. Uh, I don't know about Sunday. I hadn't got any final numbers for people that come through. I know I've seen some where they said they had over 15,000, but I don't think that's it completely accurate yet but there is no telling on Saturday how many people came through our tent in there there were people backed up slap across the road from our tent trying to get in just unbelievable I talked to so many people and shook so I'd like to know how many hands I shook during the, during the time I tried to make sure that I talked to everybody that I could. I'm sure there was somebody that I probably missed, but I really tried to keep my eyes looking to see if there was somebody sitting there waiting to talk or anything like that. 
Oh, we learned a lot from the show. I learned a lot. We learned a lot. We all learned a lot from the show because that's, I mean, we've, we've been to a lot of different shows. I have, Wade has over the years, but never actually, you know, participated at the level that we did in the Paul Bunyan show. But the people that were there that I talked to on YouTube and that I don't talk to that come up and said, hey, and there was a lot of people that came through there to just see what the heck was going on. We had so many people. The people were just like, I got to go see what's going on at this tent because they've got the people there. Go check it out. And they would come in there and I would hear them start talking to Jill, my wife, and and she would start telling them what God Top 3 was. They didn't know anything about us or nothing like that. And the next thing I know, they're pulling out money buying a daggone shirt. You know, don't even know what kind of Top 3 is. And then we were handing out business cards left and right, Jill was. And I've done had so many people subscribe already just from the cards saying, hey man, you got a new subscriber and stuff like that. But an unreal weekend. Um, that was some of the most work I have ever done. I was so tired and I'm so tired now. It's 8 16 at a night on Monday night. So tired. It's unbelievable. Uh, just get a slap out. My feet was so. We were supposed to go out with Wade and Skitter Kevin and all them. Friday night, and Jill and I just couldn't make it. We were just give out. I mean, just, just, just give out. And Saturday was more people, but it wasn't quite as tired. So we ended up going out um, Saturday night with with all of them. Skitter Kevin, his wife, um, Stevie, um, the Stone Jumper videos was there, and all that. But. Uh, it's overwhelming you know that area of the world the logging is a lot different than what I do you know what we do here in the, in the southeast in Mississippi and Alabama you know and I kind of felt like I was kind of out of the loop so to speak you know and I talked to a lot of different people and and uh, you know, they, they found out that I was just a, you know, as I was talking to him, you know, just a, you know, just like Wade was, because that, that area kind of fits Wade a little bit better than it does me, you know, because that's his kind of logging up there, too. But then as the weekend went on, it was just a, it was really cool how, how it all went. And uh, Lynn Sisler was there. Lynn's the, the founder of the Eastern Loggers on Facebook group, the Facebook group. And then Vernon Miller. I uh, talked to Vernon a couple times just through comments on Facebook. Vernon is top shelf, man. He is. He's top shelf. I'm going to do a video on just about him in the Eastern Loggers group and, and, and what was going on with him. And uh, just some really cool stuff. But so this video here, you watched Jill and I coming home. Uh, I hadn't had time to go through much of the other footage or anything like that, and uh, I will. Y'all are probably going to see probably three videos total from the show, something like that. Some of them may be over 20 minutes long. Well, I know I know one of them is going to be over 20 minutes long because waiting on the last day, uh, we got together and we shot a video together. We set both our cameras up side by side, and we filmed a 20-something long video of just he and I just talking really really good stuff I have a priceless video with just me and Stevie together that's only gonna be probably about three or four minutes long but it's it's some priceless stuff so y'all get ready and then all y'all that was on video with me uh, y'all get ready y'all be seeing y'all still sometime this week I said three heck it may be five videos but I learned a lot of stuff and me and Jill made a lot of notes coming home today that we're going to take to the next show. Our next show coming up uh, that we will be attending probably will be the uh, Mid-South Forestry Equipment Show in Starville, Mississippi. 
that'll be sometime uh, you know September October of 2018 and I may go somewhere else between uh, then and now I, I don't I don't have anything lined up right now I kind of got to get like Wade said in his video a while ago I just got through watching it Jill and I kind of got to do an inventory of what we got uh, and then I kind of got to you know order some stuff that I need you know shirt wise and stuff like that so just a lot of stuff going on the the new website coming online a week before the show cottontop3.com and then you know gearing up for the show going to the show going through the show meeting everybody setting everything up taking everything down and then trying to get back home that was a long way for Jill and I to go. Uh, it was 730 miles one way. Uh, grueling. It rained from Cincinnati all the way up there, and then it rained from there all the way back to Louisville, Kentucky last night. Just a horrendous drive back, trying to get back just to Louisville. And, uh, and of course, you know, between the gas and everything else, you know, it wasn't cheap to do it either, but was it worth it? you dang right, it was worth it. It was very much worth it to come. I mean, Thomas came all the way from California, from Los Angeles. The guy loves us so much. He come and hung out all three days with us, and I appreciate that, Thomas. Y'all will see him in uh, some of the videos, but... Just too many people to name. I mean, like Wade said, you know, Wade was there. Um, you know, uh, Alex was there. Stone Jumper was there. Paul, Mammy, and then the Eastern Loggers Group, and Lynn, and uh, Excavator 320. Enjoyed meeting and talking with him, um, and just numerous, numerous others. And like I said, I tried to make sure that I covered everybody, and everybody was really nice to Jill. I appreciate that, and, and uh, um, we're just going to keep this thing growing, man. But I just want to kind of give you all a brief synopsis of what went on. Uh, if you have an opportunity like that where YouTubers are going to be together like that, and you're a fan of them, well, you need to make every, you know, try to make it if you can, because... Uh, this weekend was a, was a very special weekend, uh, and I can't thank y'all enough in, in Wade. We had, Wade and I had such a good time. I mean, it was, y'all are going to see some really, really good stuff from Wade and I both. And then there's one video going to come from me and Wade that's identical. There's not going to be any difference in it whatsoever, you know, filmed together and all that. But, um, I appreciate all y'all. I appreciate the views that y'all give me and the support that y'all give me and my family because y'all know who all my family is and um, all that. But, uh, oh, and Mr. Larry, Larry Slosky, uh, that's where he lives. Larry lives in Cambridge, Ohio, right there where the Paul Bunyan show is. Huge, huge fan of mine. Maybe even the biggest that I've got. He actually comes from Cambridge to Columbus here. He's probably been here seven or eight times, maybe even more than that, on my job. I mean, he just loves what we do. He likes hanging around. He comes out there and hangs around all day long. Y'all gonna see, uh, so y'all saw him already in the first uh, Bunyan video, arriving at Bunyan. And, uh, but I appreciate you, Mr. Larry, and taking the time to help me and Jill, because he was, when Jill and I got there, he was there, and he helped us uh, getting there and getting situated and set up, toting boxes and all that stuff like that. So, whew, I'm just glad to be home, and I know this is long, but I just had a lot to say. I'm just glad to be home now. And look forward to doing it again. Um, I will, if we get a booth again, I will definitely be back to the Bunyan show. So, appreciate all y'all. You can find me on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff like that. And if you like my stuff, please subscribe to me. And if you want some merchandise, shirts, and stuff like that, I do got to restock up on some stuff. Uh, Cottontop3.com. Later, taters.